I was on one flight where I thought I was going to die. Where really? I thought, why wouldn't this be when I die? Right. Um, I was in <laughs> Indianapolis, and we were flying home. I was flying to home New York. Right. And uh, the, the, they were sitting there at uh, the gate, not yeah. moving. And the pilot comes on, and he says, uh, uh, we're, we're waiting because the, 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 um, the the thing is broken. The uh, the fuel gauge is broken. Fuel gauge. Yeah. So we have to wait for the maintenance. Okay. So they wait 20 minutes. Then he comes on. And he goes, "All right, the fuel gauge is still broken, but we're going to go anyway." Because uh, we know how much fuel we have, right. and you know, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. So then we don't go yet. And then he comes back on. We're waiting now because the uh, the airport in New York, LaGuardia, won't give us clearance because the weather's bad there. So we have to wait. Yeah. 20 minutes go by. He comes on. All right, LaGuardia still won't clear us because the weather's bad, but we're going to go anyway. Right. Uh, <laughs> Because wow. we, feel, we feel confident the weather will be better when we get there. Once you get there. So, and I swear to God, he said, he said we're going we're gonna to tell them we're going to Philadelphia so that we get clearance to take off. And then on the way there, we'll change. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, you're lying to the dude in the tower? <laughs> like, yeah, we're going to Philly. <laughs> yeah, what is that? What, so what is are you supposed to be dishonest to the guy who <laughs> keeps everybody from dying? <laughs> so... But we're all business travelers. Everybody's like, yes, go, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, take yeah, yeah. marginal equipment into bad weather <laughs> secretly. It's a great idea. <laughs> so we take off, and then we're flying over New York, and it's like the Wizard of Oz. There's just black clouds. There's witches flying around the plane and stuff. And, I mean, it was horrible. Everybody's puking. Everybody was vomiting. There was so much vomiting. And the plane's just boom, 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 boom. And uh, everybody's scared. And I'm listening, me and the guy next to me is from Texas. And we're listening. You know how you can listen to the tower? Right, right. Talk to the planes. Right. So we hear our guy, oh, this is 288. We'd uh, like clearance to land. And then the guy goes, that's a negative, low visibility, unsafe to land. And then he comes back, yeah, this is 288. We'd really like clearance to land. And then the tower guy goes, uh, there's no visibility, totally unsafe. Please divert to another airport. Right. And our guy comes on and goes, we don't have enough fuel. We have to land now. We don't have enough fuel. <laughs> and, <laughs> me and the guy next to me are like, he thinks he doesn't have enough fuel. There's no fuel gauge. <laughs> He thinks he doesn't have enough fuel, which means we might stop being an airplane like any second. <laughs> so the guy in LaGuardia comes on, well, clear to land then. Like that, like, <laughs> if you put it that way, I guess it's suddenly safe to land here. <laughs> it's better than some guy's house. So take a shot, you idiot. So we start plummeting through just gah, 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 one of these. You hear the plane going, <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. And we hit the deck like bam, 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 bam. And the pilot comes on and he goes, um, you may turn on your phone and call your loved ones. He said that and he wasn't kidding. <laughs> and everybody on the plane was crying and calling their husbands and their wives. I'm divorced. What am I going to hide? You remember you hate me? Well, I almost <laughs> died. <laughs> wow. Wow. But, uh, we got, I, when I got in the cab, the cab driver was like, that was a very bad landing. And I said, how do you know what plane I was in? That's the only plane to land in three hours. <laughs> so me and the other drivers, we said, they're all going to die today. <laughs> Apparently, you had the uh, Al-Qaeda cab driver. Well, I don't know. He sounded kind of like that. I know nothing about him. Look, look, we'll take a break. More with Louie right after this.